what is up guys so today's job um i'm on my way to fresno california which is about an hour 45 minutes from shit where are the keys from uh where i live at over oh, here uh all we're doing today is basically installing a fan that broke off on a walk-in freezer and uh it's most likely gonna be iced up and it's running at 20 degrees so i already got the fan blade with me and uh that's pretty much it let's go check it out see what else we find Okay, let me get the beanie. But here's the blade, guys. That's what I'm gonna be installing today. It's gonna be pretty quick. Um, the only thing about it is that I'm pretty sure that EVAP is gonna be completely iced up. So, I mean, hopefully not, but we'll see. So, let's get everything and go. So, that one's missing. Not I stuff. Is that thirty seven? All right, so I'm gonna figure that out right now. Why isn't it? It says SN27. So I don't know if it's a sensor or what. I'm pretty sure condenser is not running. So, all right, guys, let me go ahead and install that fan and then check the rest. So, I'm going to give you guys a little background of that fan blade. Uh, we didn't diagnose it. Uh, I guess the manager just took a picture of it and send it into our manager um, So I'm gonna go ahead and install it take amperage see how it's running because I'm I don't know if this more is gonna be good Because anytime those fan blades break uh, they, a lot of times I'm gonna start messing up that motors so uh, We're gonna go from there Uh, all right guys, so I didn't notice but the one that they sent me was the wrong one. This one has an allen key You guys can tell And this one's a threaded one That's the difference right there. They're threaded uh, And I don't think I have none of those in my van in stock So what I'm gonna go ahead and do I'm gonna go ahead and just wait on that Check the rest of the freezer because it shouldn't be at 30 something degrees right now Even with two fans running and one missing. I mean even with just that missing, it should be dropping down the temperature. So there's definitely an issue. So let me go ahead and uh, let me go ahead and over to the uh, condenser, see what we're doing. Because right now it's soft. So, I don't know why this door is open. Hopefully that didn't get fried. Ice machine, ice machines. It's this one right here, guys. I don't know why they have that on top, but, and this thing's off. It looks like it's been off for a while. First things first. Let's verify if there's power. Two eight. 
So I'll check all three legs. Got power. So now I'm gonna go ahead and check these fuses. The little tiny ones. Uh, Cause those are pretty common to go out on these type of systems. So power off. Things off. Let's just verify. That's probably coming in. Nothing from the main. Nothing. Nothing. So let's just start popping them on. Good. We're good. Alright guys, so that cooler just kicked on, so cooler is fine. The good thing that I noticed that both of my condensers are running, so that's a, that's a positive. Because I'm the, also on this type of units guys, I don't know what it is, but those condenser motors go out all the time. Like legit all the time. So, condenser seems to be breathing fine. Right now what I'm doing, I'm looking up uh, that Emerson control and then see if it's in code or, or what, Emerson control. Alright guys, so I found the manual um, and I don't see anything but that code. Da, da, da. So let me go ahead and go downstairs again, look at the temp control, maybe take it apart, see if there's anything inside. So let me go ahead and go downstairs, check it out, see if I'm maybe says something on the, on the temp control itself and then go from there. So what I'm going to go ahead and do now guys, I'm, I'm going to take this valve off. You guys can hear the cylinder all kicked on. You guys can hear the refrigerant flow through. Uh, so I'm going to go get a new, go ahead and get a new uh, temp control. A new fan blade. So I'm going to go ahead and leave this on right now just to get him up and running because it's, it's about 40 degrees in here. So just put that magnet for now and then uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get that temp control. Uh, what time is it? It's about... I'm gonna put it a few hours ahead because I don't want to go on defrost while I'm here. Once I leave, I'll go ahead and put it back to the actual time. Alright guys, so... Unit is up and running, condenser is up and running, got the probes hooked up. I got a 26 PSI, 145 PSI. I believe this unit is a 404, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, since both condensers are running, I'm pretty sure my my uh, my ditch charge is gonna be a little bit lower. So I'm gonna go ahead and let it run. Well, I mean, it shouldn't be running anyways. I don't know why they have it set to Negatives. This should think should be around. Uh, I seen the other the other restaurant set them up at 80. So now one of my fans is off. So my pressure should be going up now. Yeah, it's going up now. 150, 151. So it is climbing up now. Yeah, I don't know why they had that thing set down to negatives. That shouldn't be. So now I'm gonna go ahead and uh, head over to the supply house, get a temp control, one of those, and then also the fan blade. And we should be good. Twenty eight degrees. So it's already dropping temperature. 
Uh, yeah. I already got the fan blade just in case. So now let's go ahead and uh, get the temperature and that. And uh, cheesy gordita crunch. Oh, and a large diet. Anything else? Uh, that'll be all. <laughs> Alright, guys, so set it down to negative 5. It's 37, 36 degrees inside. So, right now, the little uh, snow symbol is going. So, I don't know if it's blinking because it's on, it's pending, it's loading on a delay so i'm thinking once that stays clear it should be kicking on so all right i sure the cylinder kick on all right guys so i was having an issue with the temp control that it would automatically shut off um and i had to go through the whole paperwork and that little switch on the back side it was set to ps and i needed to go to non-ps so it's this little switch right here. I'll be honest with you guys, it took me like about a damn hour to figure that out because I had to go through the whole schematic and paperwork. Jesus Christ. So we're up and running now though. I'm going to put that back in and uh, call it good. So just a quick tip guys, always save your manuals anytime you guys buy something new there's the one that i bought right there side glass is clear 25 psi 177 psi 24 degree you're looking good fellas So yeah guys like i said uh, it took me a while to adjust the damn tank control because i didn't realize that it had a like a little knob on the side and yeah i mean so like i told you guys it took me a while to adjust the temperature because i didn't know about the little switch so i had to read through the whole manual and i mean it probably took me at least 45 minutes because i had to read through everything make sure the wiring was right make sure the settings were right, everything. Um, so got that all that figured out. Unit is up and running. Right now inside the box is probably like 20 degrees. If I think that's what my sensor was saying. So now I'm gonna go ahead and just close everything up. Take my gauges out. And that's pretty much it. So guys the update on the on the fan blade uh we're gonna go ahead and order from uh manufacturer uh i went to two different locations to try and see if they had it and they didn't have it so it's what it is we're gonna have to come back and install it but for now everything looking good so hope you guys enjoyed the video guys uh it was a quick easy one except for that damn tech control uh, but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed it. Later.